Hey mate, and welcome to Old Mate Adventures. Hi, I'm Kel. And I'm Jed. In 2021, we quit the grind, sold everything and hit the road for a semi-retirement life. Follow us as we trek, camp and hunt our way around Australia and beyond. Uh, we are on the road to Augusta, uh, just heading the back roads off the main highway just because it's um, school holidays and we're trying to avoid as much traffic as possible. We did do a little detour through Darden Up, which has the, um, it's the ultimate pie shop. It's uh, a little tiny town near our hometown and um, they pretty much just sell pies and donuts uh, and other bakery stuff, but mainly that's their own. Uh, not much else. Anyway, we'll um, trek down to Augusta. Uh, it's going to be blowing its head off the whole time, but uh, we're used to uh, embracing the wind. <laughs> and we've got Dad's boat, which is a bit of luxury. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll keep moving along. Cool. Yeah. What sort of pie you got there? Uh, big cheese and bacon. The best uh, kind. We've made it to Augusta. Just gonna get all this shit out. Couple of rods. The good thing about this trip is we're just um, rolling with the swag, so um, yeah, it's pretty basic. Yeah, we haven't used the swag since um, Heather Slayer, which is almost uh, nine months ago. March. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, we plan on taking it on our south coast journey, uh, doing a few missions with the uh, swag bits and pieces. So get into it and use it a bit more. Should be pretty cool, you know. So um, cool. Set it up. <laughs> Stop. Did a great job. missing since March <laughs> and it's still got some battery oh what fuck it out oh I'm so glad we found this it's the best lot I thought it definitely was in the sand though yeah and that shit yeah I've got a fly for the swag but uh, I've never put it on here so a uh, good test out while it's windy. If it's noisy or whatever, I'll just rip it off. But um, yeah, mainly is to keep the heat a lot of the time off the swag, not rain off the swag. So yeah, just gonna give it a test out while it's actually sunny and hot, but um, piss and wind, it might be a good trial anyway. Oh, it turned out pretty good actually. It's um, quite neat. See how it uh, holds up to this wind. Uh, the one downfall with um, 23.0 is you've got to buy these poles separate, which I think is a little bit stupid. Like they give you a fly with the um, with the swag, and uh, then you've got to buy the poles separately. Yeah, first world problem, but um, anyway, slightly random. Oh uh, yeah, just getting the boat ready. It's still blowing its head off, but we're going to give it a crack anyway for a couple of hours. See if we can get a whiting or a hezer or something. 
Just got the bare minimum, a little bit of tackle, a couple of rods. And just going to get the trawler lure out for some hazards or um, if we can find a spot that's kind of calm, we'll just uh, anchor up and see if we can grab a whiting or something for dinner. Kel's going to show us her master reversing skills. Yep. Lovely. Oh, you haven't got the engine started? No. I thought about it and then I went, oh no, what if I fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> It's um, going to be sized. on there and then um, a tailor grabbed a hold of it. get a couple of whiting. We've got four hezers and um, that's enough for us for a little snack tonight. Uh, we've got some potato gems so we can yeah I know and uh, yeah they're not too bad size actually. 
yeah, pretty happy with that, other than the wind. But you have to embrace the wind. Yeah, you do. Kel yeah. loves the wind. I love it. It's great. We just rigged up with a couple of uh, little Paternoster rigs, little whiting rigs. We'll do a bit of a combo deal. Got a bit of a uh, squid and prawn going on here. Good. We got uh, four herring, two whiting, and Kel got a decent little flatty. So uh, yeah, it's dinner sorted. Nice one, Slade. Uh, yeah. So Kel pretty much caught everything. Again. You got one whiting. 
bike riding. That's the first fish I've caught in uh, months, actually. A little crayfish, I don't think. Can we catch crayfish? Uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to um, get out of this wind and sort these fish out. Cheers. That for service. Cheers. Here's to um Slain. Slain. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Good Ah, uh, yeah, a bit of rain last night. It um, drizzled uh, most of the night, actually. Uh, I got up about three o'clock and thought it had um, it gone away, but then, um, yeah, on sunrise it started raining again. Late December, and this is what you get in Augusta. <laughs> you can never predict the weather up here, down here. Ah, uh, well, we're just gonna pop down for another Hezer sleigh. See how we go. Oh, I think Kel's got the. Uh, Boat all ready to roll. Shit. Look at you go. You whinged at me yesterday. So. <laughs> Motor's warming up, ready for action. Oh, ready for action. Oh well, stepped up the decky level. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Nice one. Check the fuel. No. Is the bung in? Don't even. You didn't put the bung in? You already launched the boat. How am I checking if the bung's in? I don't know. We're sink. It's Kel's fault. No, no. You put the boat in the water. Yeah, I put the bung in. Uh, yeah, it's been raining pretty much all morning. Uh, so, yeah. We couldn't be bothered um, getting out in the rain, but the wind just hadn't stopped. We did have a thunderstorm before, and now it's uh, super smoky. So not too sure if there's a fire going on uh, close by or it's uh, further away, but yeah. But all we're pretty much gonna do is try and slay some hezzers. We've got a we've got no bait with us today, just um, just some uh, hezzer slaying trawling rigs, and see how we go. We've got two rods for slaying hezzers, so it'll just be um, tangle fest and madness. That's how we like it. The beauty about being um, shit weather is there's not many boats around. It's always bonus. Yeah. Okay, it
filming it. him again. He got off, but I think he got back on. We got our uh, four hezes, uh, pretty much just on the same spot, just near the little um, speed sign. There's uh, a couple of lumps and bumps there, and must be just holding the herring. But yeah, we're just sort of cutting laps, just up and past that. Uh, once we get half a dozen or so, we might go for a bit of an explore, and because uh, six will be enough for dinner, six or eight. Try and get eight. Then we got um, smoko tomorrow morning. Okay, we'll do a Yui and go back and slay. All day. Not a double. Not a double. Just a really, really unlucky single. Get in.
feels good to be back on the houses. That was pretty good. We got nine hazards in the end. Uh, there's plenty of there. We we're getting sort of one every trawl past that lump. I'm just going to neck those hazards and bleed them out. And then uh, the boat ramps literally 200 meters down that way. So we're just going to putt down. We have got a bit of rain. There's uh, rain that way, and that's sort of coming straight at us. And that rain cloud just went around us. So we'll get in before this um, rain hits. Uh, we lost count obviously and we caught 11. <laughs> thought we had like eight or nine. Boom, that'll be fish and chips uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah I think your dad will love it. Do beer batter. Uh, for, yeah, beer batter Friday night, tomorrow night, so. Fish and chip Friday, Joey. <laughs> oh, well, that's it for a bit of heads of slaying for a bit uh, until Next week, maybe. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, not so long. Uh, yeah, thanks, Kenny. Always good to get an Augusta trip in. Uh, but yeah, couldn't get out into the bay because of all the wind, but um, we still managed a uh, okay. couple of feeds. Couple of feeds. Oh, yeah. Cheers, mate.